Today, I'll be showing how API monetization is implemented using Axway's Amplify API Management solution. Before we begin, it will be helpful to have a definition of API monetization. API monetization involves three core functionalities. Keeping score, in other words, tracking API usage. Passing the transaction to a back-end system for invoicing, billing, etc and enforcing quotas. With this as our definition, we can now show how monetization is implemented with Amplify. Let's look at the important components and personas for the API monetization process. First, we have the Amplify API management solution in place. We also have a backend system which contains the data that needs to be exposed or virtualized. And we will be leveraging a third-party billing solution called Recurly, which is integrated with the Amplify API management solution. Now, let's talk about the personas involved in the process. First, we have the API administrator who configures an API that will virtualize backend data. Included in the configuration is the enabling of the API to enforce monetization. Next, we have a monetization manager who owns the monetization plan. She has direct access to the third-party billing solution. And last, we have an app developer that will subscribe to a monetization plan. The app developer builds a mobile app that calls the APIs. So let's do a quick overview of this demo. We will start out as the monetization manager persona who sets up the plans in the billing system. Then we will show API Publishing as the API Administrator. Next, we'll take on the persona of the app developer. We'll show how they subscribe to a plan and monitor their API usage. And finally, we'll talk about reporting as the Monetization Manager. So let's start with the Monetization Manager. She has configured several plans in our billing solution, in this case, Recurly. She's configured bronze, silver, and gold plans. As we drill into the bronze plan, we can see that she's configured settings, such as billing period, subscription terms, etc. The Amplify API management solution integrates with this and virtually any third-party billing solution. Next, we'll take on the role of the API administrator and publish an API. The first step in that process is to register a backend service. Next, we will virtualize that service. Then we will enforce API security. After that, we will configure monetization by enabling a monetization policy. And we'll set the plan using the tag functionality in API Manager. We're logged into Axway API Management Software and we're going to create a new backend API by importing a Swagger definition. So we will point to our Swagger file and tie it to the app development organization. Now the backend API has been imported successfully. The next step is to virtualize that API. We'll create a new front end API from the backend API we just imported. And there it is. Now we have a few configuration parameters to set. First, we'll set the inbound security to API key. Next, we'll go to the outbound advanced and we will set the request policy to monetization quota. This actually enables monetization for this API. The last thing we'll do here is tie this API to one of the three plans that we set up in our billing solution. To do that, we're going to create a tag called API group and we'll put the value of bronze in there since that's the plan we want to use for this API. Then we just need to click save. The next step is to publish that front end API and grant access. Now, the monetization configuration for this API is complete 
and access has been granted to our developers. Now let's take a look at subscription and monitoring. For this section, we'll be taking on the role of the app developer. The developer is going to browse the available plans in the portal and subscribe to a plan. Then he'll enable his mobile app to use the API. He'll be able to monitor his API consumption per plan, view the invoice, and view his billing information. So let's do that. Now, as the developer, we're logged into the developer portal of the Amplify API management solution, and we can see the plans that are available. We want to subscribe to the bronze package. When we click on the button, we're served up with a form we can fill out. Now the developer has subscribed to the bronze plan. The next step is to enable one of the applications to use this API. To accomplish this, the developer goes into his applications and selects the monetization tester app. We'll click edit application and select the blockchain API. Now let's make some calls to the blockchain API and monitor consumption. So we'll go into APIs and there's our blockchain API. Notice that if we click on the quota tab, there is no usage yet. Now let's test the API. We'll test the get block count method. We need to select our API key and click execute. You can see that we've successfully executed the method. If we go back now to quota, we can see that one of our calls has been used for our plan. We can go test it again. And now we can see that two calls of the thousand have been used. The developer can also view his invoice and he can also update his billing information. Subscription and billing reporting is overseen by the monetization manager and is a function of whichever backend transaction settlement system is selected. In this scenario, we used Recurly, but reporting is a standard feature of most billing and subscription solutions. In conclusion, we said in the beginning of this video that API monetization consists of keeping score passing the transaction to a back-end settlement system, and enforcing quotas. And we have shown how Axway's Amplify API Management solution provides these three essential components of API monetization. Thank you.